Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials and I just wanted to take the time to say guys honestly a massive massive thank you I've hit 600 subscribers in less than two months I really didn't see the channel growing this fast um, I'm under a bit of pressure but no worries, I'm under pressure to make sure I'm releasing really good tutorials and, you know, hopefully really interesting tutorials. Um, so, you know, do keep kind of commenting with your ideas. I'd love to hear from you. And, um, I, you know, I really want to kind of keep the channel going and, you know, keep giving you guys content. So thank you again for 600 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And I really do notice the support. So thank you so much. And without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So today we're going to look at how to use the motion path and how to, as well as use the motion path, how to kind of get um, a really cool camera follow using a really cool plugin that you can download uh, for free, I believe, from Real Illusion. So without further ado, um, let's go ahead with that tutorial. So we're gonna just wanna load up our character and position the character. Um, we're gonna get her to walk uh, in this direction. So we'll just start her over there. And then what we want to do is just go to create and path. Now you can also go into your content pack here. And I believe if we go into our props, you've got a lot of um you've got a lot of already kind of pre-built paths that you can use. Okay, so this wasn't what I was looking for. Just, um if we go down to our props, I'll show you very quickly. Um if you scroll to the bottom or somewhere near the bottom. Or furthermore, if you just come up here and type paths, which will make it a lot easier for everyone, it won't find any. <laughs> so now you can see what I have to deal with sometimes. Uh, I think the best way to do this is just to click here, click on our set and go down to path. Uh, this is gonna be the best way. And as you can see, it was in scene and effects. So little mistake on my behalf, but as you can see here, there is a lot of pre-built paths that you can use. Um, and just to kind of really quickly show you how you can use a path like this, for example. Um, okay, I don't know what that's about. Okay. Okay. Right, sorry guys, as you can see, it froze for a sec. But um, paths like this, I'm just going to really show you kind of uh, how uh, you could use them or for what reason you'd use something you know as crazy as this uh, but what you can do is you can go to your um, effects so your popcorn effects for example uh, we're going to our popcorn library and um, we'll get maybe the ice ball and we'll just put that out and what you can do is you can link that to that path by right clicking and go into path pick path and then we'll just choose the beginning of our path there um, I think that's the beginning. Let me just uh, check that I'm on the right path. So we'll go down now to our path here and you can see it's selected. And if you move that, it will move the popcorn particle along the path, but clearly we haven't linked it to the correct path. So let me just link it to this path over here. Um, not sure where it starts, but I'll just link it to uh, any one of those. So we'll just right click, pick path, and I'll just pick that path there. Now when I move that, you'll see that will fly all around. Okay, so that's the beginning of the path there, perfect. So you can link it to any one of these, but it will take it to the beginning of the path when you go to position zero here. So it doesn't matter what one you link it to. Uh, so what you can do is effectively, is you can, you, you pop, if you play your particles obviously turned on, uh, we can run it down the timeline a bit, hit pause, and then we can go uh, back into our modified tab, and then we can just move that to 100. And now if we go to the beginning and play, you'll see that will fly around that whole path. So that's one of the cool ways you can use it. And then of course you just go to scene, turn off that path. Okay, not that one. Uh, we'll turn off that path. And then we'll turn off the cast ball as well. And if you, okay, that's strange. But if you hit play, you'll see that will then go down that path and look really cool. So. That's one of the ways that you can use paths and how to link it to the path. Now what I'll do is I'll just delete all of those. Uh, next, I'm gonna show you how you can link your character to the path to ultimately walk in whichever kind of direction you draw the path. So to do that, you just wanna create path and now we can actually draw out our path. So we'll start here and then we'll click here and that will allow us to then bend. So we'll just do a little bend 
as if she's walking around the corner. Then we'll click there and then we'll bend it again uh, slightly here. Just make it a slightly awkward bend. And then we'll bring it right back around to here. And once you've finished, you can just right click on your mouse and that will then set that path in place. Now, again, same as we did with the popcorn effect, we just wanna right click on our character, go to path, pick path, and then we'll choose the beginning of that path. And when we come down to our path section here, when we move that, you'll see she'll move along the path. Now with, with things like characters, you can see here, look, she's not exactly moving naturally on the path, but uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how to get her to follow path. We simply click on this button down here. But first off, we're gonna wanna record some walk motion because if we hit play, nothing's going on. So now she's linked to the path, we're gonna go up to here, motion puppet, and we're just gonna add in a very quick uh, basic move. So we'll just click this, we'll hit preview. That looks pretty cool. So we'll just hit record and we'll basically record a few seconds of that. And then we'll get her to uh, use that motion to walk down the path that we've created. So once we've got that motion recorded, we'll just go back to the beginning. And then what we can do is we can go to the end of our timeline where we want, where uh, she will end, end up. And then we just go back down here to our paths and we're just gonna drag that to a hundred. And if we go back to the beginning and play, we'll see that she then walks down the path. Now you can see that she's not exactly following it. So the easy way to get her to follow the path is just to hit follow path here and just choose the correct axis. So you want the minus Y axis. Uh, you can choose it on many different axes depending on the direction. Uh, in our case, it's the Y axis. And if we hit play now, you'll see she'll accurately follow that path and turn with it, uh, etc. But there is a bit of foot sliding, as you can see, uh, quite a lot of foot sliding actually. Um, this tutorial is not really about kind of getting the, uh, the walk accurate, but we can uh, perhaps mess around with it a little bit just to try and get it a little bit more a little bit more accurate. And of course, uh, as I've done in my previous tutorial, you can right click motion correction and you can just hit correct and uh, that will give you a, a preliminary correction. If we go back to the beginning now, we can just see what that does uh, for that scene. So it does a little bit, it still needs a lot of work, but again, this tutorial is not really about focusing on getting the right motion. It was just to show you how to use uh, these really cool paths that we've got. So I'm just gonna undo the motion correction. And then what we can do is uh, we can then uh, follow that motion by setting up a camera and using a really cool plugin that you can get from the Reillusion store. And that's called a uh, camera follow, um, or sorry, it's called a uh, camera control. So uh, we'll click on our BB plugins and we'll click on camera control. And now you can see that will bring up this little box and here you can see our camera is selected. And we're gonna just wanna turn the speed right down because it is pretty fast. And uh, maybe drag the camera here. And then we're just gonna get a nice tracking shot uh, by hitting this here. So truck left, uh, we'll hit that and you'll see that will then begin to track uh, with our character. And if we wanna stop that, you can just hit stop there and that will stop that. And if we go back to the beginning and hit play, you'll see that camera has now, or that motion has now been recorded into your camera. And um, you know, it's a really cool tool and you can, you know, do many different kind of motions with it. So I'll just undo that and we'll go back to the beginning. And perhaps if we wanted to say, you know, truck, and then we wanted to maybe push in, we could then hit that and that will then begin to push in. And if we wanted to spin round or spin round the other way, we could do that and then we could track that way. So, you know, you can keep the motions going and, you know, it's a really, really um, useful tool. I'll leave a link below in the description so you can download that straight away. And, you know, really just hope that helps. And I really hope the tutorial helps you get really creative. And like I say, it was just a quick one, just to show you how to use uh, these fantastic tools that we've got at our disposal. So. Hopefully see you again soon for another tutorial. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more.